Shalawam, let's say our praise due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is a lesson that I saw a series on Netflix in regards, um, very good series about uh, Queen Charlotte Sophia, which uh, she's a so-called, uh, you know, a black woman. All right. And, uh, you know, and it's not uh, fiction, you know, even though um, some of those things, you know, was fiction, but it's, it's based on a, a true story. All right. But, um, you no, know, they have, um, you know, King George the Third as uh, Edomite. And we know, uh, you know, with history that King George the Third, that he's an Israelite. All right, and I'm going to see where the Rakakwa Dash is going to lead. All right, um, this is going to be like a mixture. But uh, the, you look at the King George the Third. Let me put on this, like, yeah. The King George the Third, right? Um, like, this is the penny, you know. Um, um, like, this is the penny of Barbados, all right? And we see that uh, he has woolly hair, all right? So, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, King George the Third of uh, England, of uh, the Commonwealth, all right? And uh, he played a, a major role of uh, abolishing our, the slave trade um basically we were fighting for power right because you had the spanish and um you had like new spain right because basically uh we set up colonies in the americas or right? and central america um as well as even uh south america like uh you know carthage over in uh, basically Colombia and the Caribbeans and basically that's why uh they watched that uh that movie you know with uh Johnny Depp you know uh the Pirates of the Caribbean you know that was a whole monopoly of uh of like piracy and slavery all right and um there was a whole uh, slave trade, you know, in regards to, uh, you know, the slavery of uh, you so-called uh, you uh, Negroes, you know, that's located throughout West Africa. Um, I'm going to I'm going to just uh, show you certain things. Right. Because um, there's a lot of things that they don't uh, really want to discuss but I'm gonna see where the Rakakwadash is gonna lead and uh one second so I'm gonna play this uh this is for uh, educational purposes um let's play this turn up the volume let's go this is gonna be a short lesson Lord will so let's go Okay, so this is Queen Charlotte Sophia of Mecklenburg. Queen Charlotte was born in 1744. She was the first black British royal, married to King James III. And for some of you guys who don't know who King James is, he's the one who we sent the Declaration of Independence to when America was fighting for the independence. Queen Charlotte spoke four languages. She was also a botanist and loved music and introduced a smallpox vaccination to the world. Queen Charlotte was anti-slavery. So when it came to eating sugar... Yeah, so you see that? She was against the slavery and uh, a bottle, um, as well as, um, you know, anti uh, sugar, you know, through the whole plantation, you know, slavery. Basically, uh, the black loyalists, they basically destroyed, um, cause it was, uh, because the, the Portuguese and uh, the Spanish, right, um, you know, because basically, we had the ships, right? But basically, you Edomites, you came back to power. Um, let's get it. 
Revelation uh, 20. All right, this is a very uh, complex history, all right? But we were on thrones, all right? It was actually uh, the Game of Thrones, all right? Real life, and uh, we fell, all right? And now let's go, Revelation 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. Who's that angel? That's Yahweh Shai, all right? He's the one who has the keys, all right? Apart from the Heavenly Father, you know, like Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, he gave his son the keys, you know, to, uh, you know, he's the one who uh, who sets up kingdoms, I believe it's in uh, Psalm 74, he's the one who sets up kings, and um, if I could get it after, and I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key to the bombless pit, and a great chain in his hand and he laid yeah so you know basically uh you know because you had the greco-roman empire you know that was you know great you know and we were at the bottom eventually and um you know and um eventually the heavenly father he lifted us up right um we did read about uh you know um you know Septimius Severus or uh, the five good emperors you know because uh, a lot of our people they had uh, power some of our people were uh, generals and you know of uh, you know they were into like uh, into like the uh, into the senate and all these stuff eventually Jake you know got back the power and, and the domain and then these Edomites came back. Um, uh, it's like, uh, these Edomites fell. All right. When you read about uh, Constantine the Great, you know he set up the, that whole church, and basically uh, with the whole Sunday worship and all that, that was, uh, you know, basically to like civilize, you know, these, uh, you know these basically like civilized these people because a lot of these you know these Edomites you know and a lot of our people they were uh, you know they were basically um, you know like they didn't have no morals so we're the ones who taught them that stuff and eventually um, you know no, even though, you know, Constantine the Great, he was, uh, you know, they're wicked because they basically they are sun worshippers. They're, uh, you know, do the whole, um, you know, um, Isis, you know, that sun worship, you know, that whole Egyptian worship, you know, um, you know, having um, Tammuz and, and, and like Ceramicis and all that you know like um like madonna all those idolatry all those idols all those uh you know worshiping all these different saints you know like like you know eventually uh, like that's why we fell and then uh 14 let's go and he laid hold on the dragon the old serpent or the serpent from the garden or the serpent you know who basically who deceived uh eve all right which is the devil and satan all right so uh you you, you know you greco rome you know you uh you you edomites which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years so you know so basically we were uh we were having our way you know we basically uh we would take the men you know if they uh you know if they didn't want to if they didn't want to f obey, you know, we would, uh, you know, like they would just off with their head, you know, take the woman, um, basically, um, you know, cause you either might read about, uh, if you watch, um, you either might were like the Flintstones, man, you know, some of you, you know, for the most part. And, um, you know, that's why you guys went, you know, that like we drove them out. You know, and like we had them in the caves, and that's why they call them, you know, the wild men, and all that. You know, and basically, um, you know, there was, uh, you know, the whole, 
barbarian uh, slave raids, you know, the barbarians, which is us, you know, we were, uh, we were in power. And the whole, um, like, barbarian or barber, it would mean the bearded ones. All right. Um, could show you. Lord will. You know, because we know that Barbados, it just means bearded ones. All right. So, so this is Barbados. This is our, you could, uh, you know, do uh, some research about Barbados. But it basically means bearded ones. It says in inhabits of of Kanath, Kanago people since the 17th century prior to the to that by other american indian spanish navigators took the possession of barbados in the 15th century claimed it for the crown of castile all right so basically even though um the whole bar uh the whole um cesar Borgia, you know basically um you know, King, King, um, the guy, uh, Slakia, where it's, uh, slip in my mouth. Um, I have the book here, all right, it's called, uh, The Burger of Family, King Alexander, uh, the Sixth of Rome. All right, that's when uh, you Edomites, you guys came back to power because uh, prior, during like the 1300s, you know, there was like the Black Plague, you know, throughout Europe. And and like that's why uh, eventually we fell. All right, the Mosai, he had to like thin the herd basically. And basically uh, like that's how like we fell. So the so these Edomites could come back, but it was gradually, you know, in um basically like how he's doing it now you know he's doing um he's doing the heavenly father is doing everything gradually right and uh so uh basically that's what happened but basically um you know these either my they still had to um you know get certain maps and knowledge you know of the americas you know through um you know because we're the shipbuilders you know we had all the maps so even though we, we would bring some of you Edomites on voyages to uh basically as Jesuits to spy out the land and art the the, the 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 culture and stuff you know we had the keys we had the you know that like we knew the maps and we would uh and we still uh built cities you know and uh and we and we had colonies you know in the americas all right and uh it it first appeared on uh you could read about the crown of castile all right it uh, appeared on the spanish maps in 1511 the portuguese empire claimed the island between 1532 and 1536 but abandoned it in 1620 and that's basically when um the english you know they the english came and they basically uh took the islands you know they took like um uh, like they took like, like they took the island of jamaica and uh because prior to jamaica was known as uh it was known as de la vega right it was it was ruled by it was ruled by the Spanish and the Portuguese, which was us, right? And we had uh, a lot of colonies. It's like we had uh, you know synagogues, you know, um, basically, and also in Trinidad, you know, some of our people were had synagogues over there in Trinidad, and uh, a lot of, you know some of our people were were practicing that whole Islam. So there was ma there was mosque. And all that shit, and that's why uh, eventually that stuff, you know, we fell, 
all right because uh because some um some of our people were enslaved all right because you basically had uh, the whole slave trade going on and um you know that's why eventually we fell if you read uh joel 3 verse 6 uh and read about durami uh 28 verse 48 he will put yokes of iron until they have destroyed thee so basically it was a, a a rush for power all right and eventually we fell all right uh, you could read you know do your research but basically uh we were oppressing each other and that's why now we have you edomites we have king 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 charles the third you know of um of the commonwealth now who's you know he was uh he was coronated he had his coronation yesterday you know and basically we fell all right it says uh the name barbados is there either portuguese derm term of barbados a spanish uh equivalent las barbados meaning the bearded ones right where the bearded ones right? and basically um a lot of those benjamites are on the island they are benjamites you know they uh that's why they call them the bearded one or banyam or basically it means banyam all right it would be the hanging root of bearded fig all right spices banyan all right ban which means uh sun yan it means of like seed yan all right um okay like this kind of like a tree because basically uh the heavenly you know the, uh, the the man is the one who who uh who who uh who carries that seed and um the one uh you know this is uh the bite of ben in all right ben means sun in all right Banyam, or basically Banyamian, right? Because basically you had, uh, we had, um, you know, you had the Benjamites over here in the West Africa, you know, like Benin, certain parts of Nigeria, um, like Cameroon, and then you had Fort Fort Judah or Awuda, or O U D A or whatever basically there was forts and uh so our people played a major role in this in our slave trade right because you had these uh kings you know throughout europe right that was still in power and you had kings you know throughout west africa that were uh that were fighting fighting wars right? and basically uh if you lost your if you lost the war you know like you were you know like you were sold into slavery all right unless you uh like unless you try to leave and try to move in you know and try to venture to a different land but basically that, that's what happened all right so uh slavery was a, a major role was a major part and basically um uh, read about you know queen charlotte um sophia you know she was against it you know so um you know and as well as king george the third right when you read about um charlotte north carolina all right basically uh that capital all right charlotte all right is named after her all right um This is uh, early history through America Revolution. Revolution. It said the Kata or the Katawagaba Native Americans were the first known historical tribe to settle of uh, Mick Mecklenburg County in the Charlotte area, um, and were first 
recorded around 1567 in Spanish in Spanish records by 15 by uh, 1759 half of the Kadawa tribe had died from smallpox which was in the which was which was endem which was endemic among European col colonists because of the Kad Kadawa had not acquired immunity immunity to the new disease and that's what happened right because basically the heavenly father he had to plague us and as well as um you know we got plagued and basically um you know you had these edomites came you know there's our people that was uh you know that were like uh as well as uh because basically uh you know the whole uh, crown you know like we were in power you know throughout the colonies but basically the mosai he had to chart he had to cast that he had to uh he had to chastise us all right so basically that was a big plague just like how um, right now with the whole uh, um, the whole CV the whole uh, COVID you know with the whole uh, the whole shot you know basically uh, th th like this whole thing is is affecting a lot of people man so this is a plague but um, basically Charlotte Sophia she was uh, like she was so called um like caring people you know from uh the plague so let's go for the independence queen charlotte spoke four languages she was also a botanist and loved music and introduced a smallpox vaccination to the world queen charlotte was anti-slavery so when it came to eating sugar she protested against it and didn't eat it sugar was a big thing in slave trade back then she also loved partying and getting together all the time too so in 1780 she created the first deputy yeah, so sharp. she was there into music, you know, there into part, you know, having uh, banquets. She had many children with uh, King King George III, and uh, you know, um, that King George III, he was uh, as well. Uh, he was very uh, knowledgeable, you know, of uh, the the star, the constellation, but uh, he basically he got uh, he got uh, plagued of um, of the mind. They say that um, they say that his uh, his physician, you know, was was basically uh, poisoning him. You know, um, we don't really know, but basically that's what they're uh, saying. You know, they kind of show you that in this uh, this series. You know, because uh, you know we still uh, you know like we freed a lot of you Edomites. And as well as uh, you so-called uh, you so-called people that were our people who was in slavery, all right. So like that's why like they had the black loyalists, all right. Um, this is just uh, this is for King George the Third. This is on uh, slavery. It says. Uh, I just want to highlight this. It says over the course of uh, George's reign of of col of colonization of coli of colonization of uh, abolishing an African slave slave uprising caused the British public to uh, spur slavery. Right. Um, basically because our people were tired our people are being oppressed by the spanish right as well as um, the portuguese you know throughout like brazil right because there's a whole slavery going on right and uh, a lot of our people were invo involved right the whole uh sephardic jews you know of uh you know of castile you know we were we played our people played a major part and that's why eventually we fell all right and um, like like that's why now you have these edomites call themselves kings and stuff right and right now we're at the bottom but the uh this is uh george's wrote 
a document in the 1750s is a denouncing all of the arguments of sl for slavery and calling them um, ex ex or it's like a ex excretion and ridiculous and uh, absurd. But the king and his sons, the Duke of of uh, Clar of uh, Clarendon's that suggested that the efforts of the London Society of the West Indian planters and merchants to delay, it says, to delay the abolition of uh, the British slave trade for almost 20 years. All right, so that's what um, you know he was basically fighting for, you know, because he wanted to still have the the power and the domain, you know and um basically um you know you had uh you know basically like king george he died but you had uh charlotte sophia i'm just talking not charlotte sophia his uh when you read about when you do your history about queen uh victoria right her lineage goes right back to uh the hanoverans all right, when you read about, uh, you know, her lineage goes back to like King George III, Sophie, Charlotte Sophia, King George II, the third, you know, because basically prior you had the Jacobites who was in power, but, uh, you know, King, King James, he was beheaded. He was beheaded. You know, the great King James, he was beheaded. All right, so uh, basically this that was at the end of the Stuart dynasty. Then you had the Hanover dynasty that came back to power, and um, you know because uh, yeah the Germans, you know that was us, right? Because we were um, when you read about Charles Sophia, you know we established uh, these colonies, you know New Brunswick um, here in Canada. You know Nova Scotia, you know Upper Canada, Lower Canada. You know like that was all set up by us, the French. That's why the English was fighting the French. So eventually, uh, even though you had, um, you know Louis the Thirteenth, you know Fourteenth, um, you know like these were all Israelites that was fighting for power, and we you we used uh, you Edomites. And um, as well as uh, you Israelite soldiers, you know, to fight these wars, right? They were basically uh, like pawns, you know, in the whole uh, chess. All right, so basically, you know, that's why the Heavenly Father, he, 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 he jacking us up. You know, that's why these guys, our people out here uh, selling drugs. They're high, they're, you know, on drugs, you know, don't know themselves. Um, you know they're you know they wanna uh they you know our people are totally destroyed man all right but that's why the heavenly father is only coming for his elect because we we were so uh we were so on high as a nation but now look at us now man all right so you should really watch this series of uh, charlotte sophia on netflix very powerful um let's go she once discovered Mozart at eight years old. That's right, Mozart. Queen Charlotte has an African Moorish blood. You know that Mozart is also Israelite, all right? All those, uh, you know, um, as well as, um, I, have a move, I have a book, I have not a book. Um, this is a very good book. This is uh, Shakespeare in, in Sabo, A History of Black Shakespearean Actors. All right, written by Earl, Earl Hill. All right, so um, you know, we were you know we're the black so-called nobles, the so-called nobles. You know, uh, like we're the real aristocrats. I was gonna say black, all right, but black, you know, black has a bad, a bad uh, spin. All right, if you read about that, if you read the etymology of the word black, man. You know, so we were very affluent, but eventually the greed, the power, you know, the curses 
of Deuteronomy 28, 15 and 68 that fell upon us. You know? So uh, with that, let's our praise due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and bless to the whole from our elect. Shalom. From her mother's side, her and King James had 15 kids, and 13 of all her kids married royally. So that means every royal house in Europe are direct descendants from Charlotte.